Welcome back to Playing With Plastic. I'm the Big Cat. Today we are looking at the Mezco 112 Collective DX Wolverine. We're gonna look at the packaging first. Very nice tin display box here from Mezco. There we go, let's get things, uh, there we go. Very nice. Comic book artwork there. X-Men, Mezco there. Boom, we got the slashes. 15 and up. Not a toy for children. No kids. Choking. Uh, there's a barcode if you need it. There we go. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Let's figure we're going to take a look at the details. Let's get in close. All right. Very nice head sculpt. Get that. You guys can see the details in the shoulder pads, my rivets. You got uh, weathering on it, chunks taken out, cuts, etches. Super nice. Real fabric. Down to the bracers. They look very good. Really good. This belt. No pouches on this belt. And I am not changing the belt. I heard there's an issue with this where once you take it off, it doesn't sit right after. So I am not touching that. I like this belt. It is staying on. Uh, it's got his uh, blue diaper. Fabric. Again, the boots look really good. Let's take a look at the boots. There we go. Really nice. Iconic. Tiger Stripe Wolverine. There you go. Oh, and cool thing with this figure, because it encompasses uh, two eras of Logan, this is later era. Shoulder pads down. Now, if we go to the more classic... Well, classic, the original look for, for Wolverine, like that. And if you go back to images from that time, whether it be, I think it's Incredible Hulk, his first appearance, later on with uh, his original X-Men run, the shoulder pads move up. Kind of move it up and in, watch out, be careful for the fabric. And look at that. Super cool. So you essentially have two versions of Wol of Wolverine. A standard old Mesco display stands. This one done with like a navy blue and the yellow. Very nice. We have the stand itself. Plugs in right there. There we go. Next up, he comes with five slashing effects. All done in clear plastic. These just, uh, I think, slide in between the claws or the claws go in. Not sure. I won't be displaying with these, but... Uh, you know, options are nice. There's this one. And the X. 
Well done. Moving on to the head sculpts that he comes with, we have six masked heads. We have two here. We have snarly faced Logan. This is based on his early appearance. The original cowl. Nicely done. He's pissed off there. This one's just uh, serious. Just a serious Logan. Then we got... I love how high the... Uh, the ears go and if you can see you can see like there's a texture to it or it's been molded like that with that texture very nice they look amazing we got Sirius Upset Logan. This is Run the Hell Away Logan. And last but certainly not least, this one's really badass. Look at that. I say this is the last head where he's very happy with what he's done. See the adamantium coming through there. So it slashed through his eyebrow. Underneath his eye. Awesome. All super well done. So that's it for the masked masked heads. He also comes with two unmasked heads. This one here. Really like this one. Hair is amazing. It's weird seeing it in like life 3D how it actually looks. Like, wow, he would cut his hair like longer on his sides. It's ridiculous, but it's badass. It's crazy. I love it. And there's this one more tamed hair, a little shorter. There we go. Very nice. Like he's, I don't know. Going to the Hellfire Gala. At least he brushed his hair, you know? Just be happy for that. Yes. And. There we go. That simply goes behind his neck. As if he pulled his. Pulled his mask down. That is it for that. He also comes with a ton of hands. He's got six pairs of hands. Yeah, one, two, three. He's got three clawed hands and three clawless hands. Let's get into them. Their claws are the best. I don't have a Mafex Wolverine, but from my experience, Mezco does the best claws. I mean, Hasbro's are just trash. They kind of got a little bit better with newer releases, but they're not known for keeping shape nice. So there we go. That's that. Next up, you have two bone claws. Yes. Bone claws. It's when we found out more about Logan. Like, hey, adamantium is laced all over his bones. What happens when Magneto rips the adamantium from his skeleton? His claws are now bones. Beautiful. Love it. Nice and gnarly looking. Like, how do they even go back? They're not hardly straight at all. A weird choice when you think about it. 
Well done, though. I love it. I like it. And we have two more metal claws, but with grasping hands. Yeah, love this. When he's accidentally hurt somebody, you know, he'd be like on his on his knees, screaming to the sky with his claws popped like that. Whoop. Very nice. What's that? We got two. Clawless grasping hands. And we have a pointing hand. And another grasping hand. Yep. Last but not least, two fists. Just regular old fists. There we go. Also comes with another belt, red and gold. Pouches. You can take off the buckle and put the X-Men logo. Just got two little, uh, two little pegs that go in. You can pop it out. And we have a cracked, ripped out Sentinel Eye. This comes into play later with the final accessory. At least he comes with a destroyed Sentinel base. This is super well done. The detail on this thing is legit he's on all you got to do come here a button how cool is that how cool is that oh. you could kind of leave it in there so I'll bust it up take it out Wow. Chest piece is flickering. Well then Logan just slashed the shit out of him. Whack. This is awesome. This eye's still going. Super nice. It's getting close. I'll get that. I'll get that. I get lost in that eye. <laughs> Beautiful. Get that. Well done. Doop. All right, getting down to articulation. What's up, Jonesy? Yeah, should I leave that on? It's a bit distracting. I kind of like it. Oh well. Articulation. The head. It's on a double ball joint. Neck is a separate piece. It moves. Head goes up like this. Down like this. Now the the shoulder pads are connected to the arm. You cannot do a full 360 without them popping off, as you just saw. All right, <laughs> continuing. So they can't do a full 360 because of the, they'll pop off. It's, I don't know if you guys can see in there. So arms don't really go out that much. They go to like here until it starts digging in. Now you can put them up. But they still, see? It'll still start to hinder the articulation. Yeah. Oh yeah, the hair is kind of uh, textured. So yeah. Out to like that. Let's get this back down because I prefer this look. 
you have double jointed pinless elbow bends to that wrist it's on a ball peg Wrist is on a ball peg. We have diaphragm movement. Forward like that. Back a fair bit more. We have slight swivel. Kind of what tends to uh, pop back to the middle. So legs. Out like that, you have thigh swivel, no thigh cut, you have pretty good bend at the knee. And the boot, there is no boot cut, so that doesn't move, but you have, come on, up like that. Down like that, not much movement up and down. And you have your side to side ankle rocker. There. First, we have him next to Mezco's other Wolverine. Well, the only Wolverine I got, they have multiple versions, but I have the brown suit and the deluxe tiger strip. So there's brown suit Logan. There is Hasbro's tiger stripe Wolverine from the Love Triangle 3 pack. Here he is with... The retro card apocalypse see how that works boom <laughs> we got him next to amigo lieutenant commander data star trek the next generation just because here we got him with a neca retro cloth john natta figure from they live quite a bit taller yeah Got him with Amigo Toxic Avenger. Apron Less Mo from The Simpsons, Super 7 Ultimates. One Thousand Toys Master Chief. Tamashi Nations. Pac-Man, Marvel Legends Colossus, from the 80th Anniversary 2-Pack with Juggernaut. Here he is with Alf, in his chill-ass yellow shirt. Another Just Because, Retro Cloth Richard Simmons from NECA. Boom. A Marvel Select Silver Centurion Iron Man. All right, and here, another just because, is Optimus Primal from Kingdom. There we go. All right, folks, that concludes our look at the Mezco 112 Collective Wolverine Deluxe Edition. And... This figure is amazing. I've already gone over the brown suit version. I love this guy even more. He comes with a plethora of accessories. A shit ton of accessories. I kind of lined them up here. Let's zoom out a little bit. And this is kind of what you're getting. Except for the slash effects. But look at all those heads. Look at all those claws. It's just a total package for Wolverine. If you want one Wolverine in your collection, I think this could satisfy you. 
I rate things on a 5 point scale and as no surprise, this is getting a 5 out of 5. The first 5 out of 5 figure I have done so far. Hopefully not the last, I really like getting 5 out of 5 figures, you know, you feel good about yourself afterwards. He's a bit pricey, but I think for what you get and the quality of the materials, uh, yeah, highly recommended for me. And that concludes this week's review. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Big Cat out.